Hey everybody, my name is Curtis of Guppy's Power Sports here in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Really happy you tuned in. Today I'm really excited to be giving you this video. I'm going to give you my first impressions of this. This is a 9mm. It's a Chris Vector. My son purchased this here in Tulsa. I'm not sponsored by Chris at all. They don't even know I exist. But my sons let me take this and give you guys a, my, a little review and a first impression of it. And that's what we're going to do. So let's get right to it. All right, let's take a look at this really cool firearm, guys. This is awesome. This is my son's. Um, and I cannot wait to go out and shoot it. He's already took it out once and shot, shot it. And he says he absolutely loves it. But let's make this gun safe before we can even start talking about it. First thing I'm going to do is going to remove the magazine out of it. As you can see, the magazine was empty. So there's probably no rounds in here. Then we're going to take and let me get this up and slide this off. I'm sorry it's out of camera, but I'm going to lock the bolt back. Lock the bolt back. Show you that it is an empty. There is not a round in the chamber. This is an empty safe firearm right now. And then we're going to look at the stacks and specs. Let's put it on the other side. Is this thing beautiful or what? All right, let's take a few looks at this thing. Pretty awesome. Let's run down some of the specs. The Chris Vector is the smallest form factor rifle that's variant that Chris makes. It's got a very short barrel, adjustable stock, and adjusts very easy. Adjust. Now the most important thing that makes this Vector pretty neat, it's called the Super V system. It's a non-linear, multi-link, blowback system designed to redirect call energy down. In other words, the, the, the blowback is going to go down like this, back and forth, in and out of this gun like this when it's cycling. That's how it's going to do. So it, what that does, it reduces kickback. In other words, recoil. Uh, it, helps, it helps keep your, your barrel pointed down, down and at the target. It helps keep the barrel down, which is really pretty neat. And it, and it helps prevent that unfortunately muzzle climb that you get when you're shooting a lot of rounds behind each other the muzzle will start going to it'll start going up boom boom when you shoot it'll start going up this recoil the way it goes down into here like this reduces that pretty neat system pretty neat system all together like all Chris models vector firearms they use glock double stack mags it's a glock double stack mag this one is nine millimeter you could actually buy the barrel and stuff and make this, buy this lower here and make it a 45 too. Uh, so you could have both rounds. You could shoot both the 45 ACP and 9mm through this. But it takes a Glock magazine. So you could use a whole bunch of different ammo, 9mm ammo for this. So it's pretty, pretty cool. All right, so let's talk about it. Of course, like I told you, you got the Super V Coil Mitigation System that mini minimizes recoil. Got the Glock Magazine capability. It's got a low bore axis, low pile flip sights. These are the flip sights. They flip up on it. And it's got a full length Piccany rail on the top. You can see it there. I'll turn it up so you can see it. See the Piccany rail there? It's got a six position adjustable stock. There are six adjustments on here. It's got the strap. So you can strap it to your arm. Let's talk about some of it. This is the 9x19 caliber. It's called the Vector SBR. With this magazine, there's 17 round magazine capacity. The barrel length is five and a half inches. The overall length collapsed is 24 inches. It's a closed bolt, uh, delayed blowback system. Of course, with that vector, the blowback goes down and set up like I explained to you earlier. It's semi-automatic. Uh, like I said, it's got a six position adjustable stock. The color is black. It weighs seven pounds. The barrel is made out of 4140 chrome molly. So it should last a very long time. Take, go through a lot, a lot of rounds in the thing. The barrel finish is black nitrate on the barrel. The twist rate is one. 
twist, full twist in every 10 inches right hand. The thread pitch is half inch by 2B, 28, excuse me, half inch by 28 is the thread pitch. Trigger type is called a pivoting single stage trigger. The trigger is pretty crisp. Uh, it's crisper than what I thought it was gonna be. Um, the safety, it does have an ambidextrous safety on there. I could, if you could see that. I'm kind of trying to figure out how I'm doing it here. If you can see, it's ambidextrous. It's on both sides. There is not a, it's not both sides for the mag release, though. It's only on the one side. Uh, the hand grip is pretty comfortable. It points very well. I was thinking this because this is considered a pistol. I was wondering when I held it out, is it going to be extremely heavy? But when you wrap the strap around your arm, you could actually, and you could hold it pretty comfortably. Even though it, it is seven pounds, that's quite a bit of weight for a pistol. But I like the fact that you can pull this against your, your body and hold it tight with you. It's pretty, my son says it's pretty accurate. Like I said, I have not gone out and sh shot it with him. Um, hopefully pretty soon I will. And anyways, that's the video on this. Um, and my first impressions is of the Chris Beck SRB is this is a really cool firearm guys if you're looking for a, a pistol in this form factor this is something definitely consider it for the price it's pretty reasonably priced for what I feel what you're getting I love the fact that Glock cartridges these are everywhere you get these everywhere you don't have to buy you can buy just Glock double stack cartridges and you're in business you can, you can buy them everywhere they're not that expensive that makes that awesome. That means you can really load up a bunch of rounds and go plink all day if you want. That's pretty cool. Uh, I like, again, the, the blowback, the way it's designed to help keep this muzzle pointing down range at your target so you don't get no muzzle lift. That is fantastic. I love the length of the pick me rail on top. Um, just to get you guys heads up. This is what we're gonna mount on it for the time being. We're gonna mount this on there with a three times multiplier on there and we're gonna go plink on this and we're gonna give you live range for that. I'm gonna do a video of installing this and a video installing this on there probably tomorrow and hopefully I'll get that out there soon. I got a lot of videos I gotta edit because I've been shooting more videos and editing them. So once I get in the edit suite, I'll get busy doing that. But my first impression of this is this is an awesome firearm. If you're looking for something like this, definitely go purchase it. Uh, it's really cool. I think you guys are gonna really like it. Do me a favor, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you wanna see future content, hit the subscribe button. If you wanna be notified when it comes out, hit the bell button. If you got any comments, questions, or concerns about this firearm or anything else I'm doing, please leave a message and I'll answer back to you. Also, I'm not sponsored by Chris Vector. This is my son, my son bought this. I asked him if I could do a video on this firearm because I think it's really neat and I think it's something that you guys will want to see. And there it is. That's what it is. It's the Chris Vector. I'll slowly turn it around so you can look at all different angles on it. Look, check it out. Let me turn it around this way. It is really a cool firearm, guys. This is really, really nice. I am definitely impressed with it. I cannot wait to go out and shoot it. Once we get all that mounted on there, we're gonna go out and do some plinking and you're gonna be able to come with us on that. We should have a video out at the range just shooting this thing and playing with it. Looking forward to doing it. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Till next time.